It's toy time, it's toy time 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 it's toy time, it's toy time. YouTubers, this is Danny Martinez for Toy Time Studios, and we are back with episode 24, and we're gonna do two unboxings. That's right, two unboxings. We are adding to the Marvel PVC gallery section of the DMS gallery, and in this episode, we will be going over two purchases we made recently from the Joker's Child in Fairlawn our regular Wednesday weekly spot besides Zap Comics and we always go to Joker's Child and we always get our new comics there sometimes we'll even stop at Zap in the morning or later on maybe the next day also however this time we're talking about PVC gallery section don't forget to like share comment and subscribe we really appreciate the support and let's get on with this. So we're going to start off first with Weapon X Wolverine. The, the old story, the classic from the 80s. Everyone loved it. They referenced it once in the movies. We got the PVC figure. And it's going to be a beautiful addition to the uh, section upstairs. And now I'll do the honors. All right, there's a little bit of tape, so I'm going to need... An X-Acto knife. I always have an X-Acto knife nearby in multiple places. Uh, for the gallery figures, I used to keep all the boxes, but um, it became too much of a pain in the ass. So I decided uh, I just ended up throwing them all out because I really like displaying these and they sell as long as they're in good condition, you can still make your money back at the least. Alright, so it's uh, always a little window display. And then it's pretty much just plastic encased around the mold. Uh, which keeps it pretty safe for the most part. Also, the piece is PVC, so it's plastic. Which, uh, the good part about it is that it's easy, it's harder to damage. Um, they're easier to maintain. Uh, they're a little less sensitive to conditions, um, you know, and, and also f the most important part, uh, which probably helps make sales is, uh, it's a good, it's not a cheap figure at $49.99, which is most of the standard PVC gallery figures at $49.99. It's a good in between from cheap smaller action figure which is about 20 to 25 sometimes 15 if you're lucky and uh between going you know on the higher end where things are at least a hundred bucks uh for a mid-size and then you know it gets bigger and more more expensive as you go along up to the hot toys like some of the ones i've shown you which are generally at the minimum 200 to 300 350 400 bucks sometimes depending how big and what they're made of so this is a really good option for collectors who don't want to break the bank and want good quality for the value you're getting. So in this this one, uh, these are usually snap-on or snap-off. Uh, there's a little bit of tape again, uh, just on the seams. So what we'll do is be careful, don't cut anything. And here we are. All right. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. 
Uh, I wish they would have done more with the helmet there. It looks kind of just plain. Um, maybe a little more detail on the hairy stuff and maybe more on the definition. A little more shading. The uh, but but still, it, it's a pretty good looking figure. All right, so now now that we have opened Weapon X Wolverine from the famous story back in the day, now it's time to move on to unboxing number two of our PVC gallery episode. We saw this before in the past, I believe at Comic Con last year, and finally got to see it in person and decided, all right, time to pick it up. Uh, we got Spider-Man, uh, kind of in a aerial mid-maneuver type motion, avoiding what seems to be some kind of pumpkin bombs from Green Goblin or Hobgoblin. And uh, let's uh, let's take a look. Again, $49.99. Not bad at all. Good in between. Let's check out some of the details and the how it looks. Good display box as always for the gallery figures. Uh, you can three windows. You can get a good look at exactly what the figure looks like from all angles. Now uh, let's check it out, shall we? All right, so let's get to it. Unboxing number two. Again, it has tape on the sides, so I'll be throwing the boxes out anyway doesn't matter to me but sometimes uh, some people are a little more careful make sure they peel it off nicely and then put it back on nicely again if I was keeping the boxes like I used to which drove me nuts then I do it but I don't do it anymore they were taking up way too much space and I needed the space in my storage unit and in all the cubby holes on the sides of that side storage units of the uh of the gallery so again it's encased in plastic it has a little tape on the side there just be careful when you're cutting it doesn't even take much to cut it all right so this statue is smaller than most in some aspects however it makes up for it in other areas and being that it's spider-man it's one of the few characters that can be believable in this sort of position anatomically, okay? Um, however, there's something about the eyes that bother me. Something about the eyes. However, totally, really, totally cool with the smoke, uh, which serves as a base. Uh, really cool effect with the, uh, the pumpkin bombs. And t totally is going to stand out amongst the other Spider-Mans, which have a standard positioning. Really pops. So both pieces came out really, really nice. I'm very happy with my purchase. Pretty good amount of detail. Definitely two characters that will uh, that are very popular and selections that will add to my collection really well. Oh wow, just noticed. Spider-Man actually comes with a nail and uh, some kind of groove in the back so you can actually you can actually nail, put a nail in the wall and have them coming out. How cool does that make that? That makes it even cooler. That's a whole nother feature right there. Maybe he won't go in the PVC gallery section, or maybe I'll just have him coming out of the wall of the gallery section, very possibly. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning into our special 24th double unboxing PVC gallery episode. And the next episode is our double sized 25th episode, which will be again, a uh, double unboxing episode. We hope you enjoy and we appreciate the support. Tune in next time. See you soon.